Hi guys, I'm Smita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. At the recent Google I.O. event, Google actually released many new amazing features that are powered by machine learning. But out of all the amazing features that Google has released, one thing has really stood out to everyone, and that is Google Lambda. Now, Google Lambda actually stands for Language Model for Dialogue Applications. And as the name suggests, it's a natural language processing model. In today's video, I want to talk about exactly why Google Lambda is such a big deal and why it matters. To understand the reason why Google Lambda is such a big deal, we have to look at the history of machine learning trying to learn language over the years. So we've all seen sci-fi movies where AI is just able to talk to humans exactly like humans, and it's so human-like. But this is tremendously difficult to achieve in real life, simply because human language is so difficult to understand, and the rules are not fixed. Rules are ever-changing, and it's even hard to define a set of rules. Besides the obvious grammar rules, it's extremely difficult to teach a machine to talk naturally. In fact, Noam Chomsky, who is a famous American linguist, once said that human beings naturally have the intuition to pick up something like language, and it's extremely difficult to teach this intuition to machines. This is exactly the reason why when a lot of models are being trained to learn languages, they're actually being trained on the whole concept of learning. So similar to how a child would learn a language. So they're oftentimes fed data to actually replicate or learn from instead of actually being fed rules. That's actually very similar to how Google Lambda works. So Google Lambda actually makes use of dialogue data. So Lambda actually studies millions and millions of dialogue. Instead of studying a random text or different words, it actually studies dialogue and tries to understand the flow of dialogue. This is very different from existing chatbots or personal assistants, which are often pre-programmed with specific responses to questions, and they are only able to answer questions that they have seen before or have been trained to answer. So there's technically no real intelligence there. So the biggest difference with something like the existing chatbot and Google Lambda is that Google Lambda is trained on dialogue and there is no pre-programmed responses to any sort of questions. And the amazing thing is that it is able to communicate and have a dialogue about anything. Let's take a look at Google Lambda's response if you tell it that your TV and washing machine are not working. Now, Google has been trying to develop a machine learning model that is able to communicate effectively for a very long time. So it's no surprise that it has released something like Lambda at this point in time, especially when AI chatbots are highly in demand. So the technology behind Lambda is something called Transformer. Transformer was actually released in 2017, and it is a novel neural network architecture for language understanding. It makes use of recurrent neural networks, and Transformer handles a lot of different things. Besides language modeling, it also does language translation, as well as answering questions and queries. The initial struggle with using neural networks for something like language processing and building dialogue and language models was how exactly to feed neural networks with language and with words. To do this, Google uses something called a thought vector. A thought vector shows that words can actually be represented as mathematical vectors so that, for example, boat and water, which are closely related to each other, are close in the vector space as well even though they might be very different things. So by using thought vectors, we are able to link words which have similar meanings or they can be used in sentences together. They are placed together in the vector space, which allows the neural networks to actually derive meaning from all of this. Google announced that it's planning on releasing Lambda into a bunch of its different products. For example, the Google Assistant and also Google Search. So we can definitely be expecting to see it in real life and also be able to use it. Another great thing that Google actually announced is that they are planning on making this 
open source so that developers are also able to use it within their own products as the end goal here is actually to be able to allow developers to develop dialogue applications. So there's definitely a huge potential with something like Google Lambda. Not only can we expect to see it in Google applications, but we can also expect to see it in various other applications as well. Language is an integral part of how we communicate and it's about time that machine learning has actually caught on to it. Machine learning with the help of deep learning has achieved a lot over the last decade. We've built something like AlphaGo which was able to master the game of Go which is extremely difficult since it has so few rules and it was actually able to beat some of the best players in the world at that game. So that's amazing. In addition to that, deep learning has also made some tremendous steps in image recognition and object detection. In fact, it's better than humans at it. So it's about time that machine learning and deep learning caught on to language as well. And Google Lambda is honestly the first step in doing exactly that. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below and see you in my next video.